Hey dudes, it's Pixel Tricks. Welcome back to the Mega Man Legacy Collection. Today we're starting our playthrough of Mega Man 2, 1988. This particular game has its own custom border, as you can see. But we're gonna go ahead and use our own. Yeah, this one actually has its own like little story opening at the title screen, as you can see. The year of 20XX, a super robot named Mega Man was created. Yeah, this is kind of where the 20XX meme started. Dr. Light created Mega Man to stop the evil desires of Dr. Wily. However, after his defeat, Dr. Wily created eight of his own robots to counter Mega Man. Yeah, so now we're fighting uh, Dr. Wily's own robots. Um, and yeah, and then we get that iconic shot of uh, slowly panning up to the top of the building, right? Now, this is one of the greatest title theme songs ever. Listen to this. Nah, oh, it's so good, dude. They got Mega Man, his hair is blowing in the wind. It's a pretty epic title screen, honestly. Alright. Oh, listen to this. Ah, there's so many banners in this game, dude. And Mega Man 2. This is actually where um, a lot of the inspiration... Uh, from Mega Man from Smash Brothers comes like most of his move set is from this game, so it's pretty cool Yeah, Me Mega Man 2 is credited for being um, The game that really got Mega Man like popular and it has it, it like started the trend of most of the Mega Man games like there's eight robot masters and as you can see we picked up our very first E-Tank uh, This is the game that introduced E-Tanks Sorry about the flickering, there's not really much I can do about it. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, maybe you won't be able to see Mega Man here for a second. Wow, I don't think I've ever got through this whole section without getting hurt by those things at least once. That's so funny. <laughs> those things do like so much damage too. Alright, so let's go ahead. Yeah, apparently this game was, um, god, made in like four months. Yeah, and Capcom, like, they were like, alright, you can make this game. But you have to work on your other projects as well. So they put on like 20 hour work days to uh, get this out because they like were really passionate about Mega Man, right? So that's pretty cool. Also, like they had a contest for fans to send in their own like custom robot designs. Like over, they got like over 8,000 uh, entries from fans like having their own robots. And that's like a trend that continued onward, which is pretty cool. These are the new health drops as you can see. Yeah, these little <laughs> troll uh, clown dudes, it's right. They like spin on this. Some pretty interesting designs. <laughs> yeah, you just destroy their wheel and they'll just tumble off the edge. Eh. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Oh, I hate these guys. Oh my god, I actually got him. The turbo does so good against these guys. Wow, I've never been able to kill these guys before. They always get me. So we can get that E-Tank, but we'll, we won't be able to get off, um, get back without the right power-up, so. But yeah, I thought we would start with Metal Man stage, because he is the best power-up in the game. It's actually strong against multiple Robot Masters. And this is actually, um, Kenji Inafune, like, he, he said that this is his least favorite fight. In Mega Man 2 because he said it's the easiest so if you ever lose on this fight um, just remember the creator was like oh this one's too easy and he didn't like it <laughs> so hopefully I don't die I I will use an e-tank <laughs> all right I, I believe they go away once you die so you might as well use them uh, if you can right so all right we did it <laughs> nice so we get our very first power up here Wonderful. They're actually hesitant to develop a sequel for Mega Man because the original had last lackluster uh, sales. Yeah, get equipped with Metal Blade. Yeah, dude, it's Metal Blade from Smash Brothers. So now we're gonna fight Bubble Man. Oh God, this is this might make a little, <laughs> a couple people a little queasy here. So just a warning, fair warning to you, dudes. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Metal Blade power. Look how good this is. Yeah, it's the Metal Blade from Smash Brothers, see? How cool is that? And we can fire it in all these directions. It's so good, just like in Smash Brothers. Okay, so, let's go ahead, take care of these frog monsters, these frog troll dudes. Oh, goodness. 
Mm-hmm. We got some quick platforms we gotta jump past here. Yeah, all the songs, man, in Mega Man 2, they're just all banners. There isn't a bad song in this game at all. Mmm. So sick. And then we go to the underwater section, as you can see, which is pretty cool. Got these little shell dudes. They get faster when you take their shell off. Oh, let's grab some health. Yeah, and the thing about the Metal Blade power is just lasts forever, too. Like, look, I used two Metal Blades, and, like, it's still full. Like, so you can kind of spam it. <laughs> okay, so for this fish monster, we have to destroy his antenna. Right. Hmm. So, and those spikes on the very top are when it KOs. So we can't touch them. Oh, yeah, and then the Metroids. <laughs> the Metroids appear, see? You gotta be very careful. It's very sensitive, the jumping here. <laughs> Alright. Let's go this way. Dean! <laughs> I touched the very corner of it. I'm fort. <laughs> yeah. Questionable hitbox. That's fine, though. We'd actually sit here and farm um, <laughs> one man's if we wanted to. Oh, wow. We despawned the fish that some of the other ones. Yeah, because these guys will drop uh, one ups as well. Okay. You gotta be very careful, dude. I'm usually so good about this section, too. Huh. Alright. I think I died there. Or was it this one? It might have been this one. Yeah. <laughs> the infamous uh, instant kill spikes in Mega Man. I was told, actually, apparently, um, Mega Man 1 and, like, 8 or something like that were the only Mega Man games that, like, wouldn't, like, give you iframes to survive on Meg Metal Spikes, but the other ones you can. It's very interesting. Alright. Oh, lag. Nice. Yeah, too many sprites on the screen, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Aw, oh, shit, dude. Okay, that one was just me being bad. <laughs> Alright, I'll get over there, okay? <sighs> there we go. Alright. Maybe I could farm some stuff off these guys, huh? Farm, get my life back? This is exactly where I died. I almost did the same thing. <laughs> this is the part that always throws people off because, like, we lose our, like, water physics. And we're back to the platforming. Alright, so let's go ahead. Head this way. Oh, goodness. Little crab monsters. Alright, yeah. And the Metal Blade is strong against Bubble Man. The most intimidating of all the robot masters. Bubble Man. He does have instant kill spikes in his place, so that's a thing. Alright. Maybe he'll, like, swim up. There's actually, like, a Mega Man fan game. Um, Mega Maker. And you can make it so you fight this particular boss, like, not in water. And if he's not in water, he'll just, like, sit there crying. Because he needs water to swim around and shoot his bubbles. And it's really funny. I don't know if that's a thing in any other thing, uh, any other actual Mega Man game. But it's, it's pretty funny. Alright, so we get a bubble lead. Yeah, the bubble lead power. That's right. Okay. So let's see. So now, we are going to do He-Man stage, that's right, we're doing He-Man stage without the, uh, the power that helps us, um, <laughs> like, cheese the, the gnarly platforming section, so, this is gonna be interesting to see how we do. But yeah, you, you'll see it when we get to it. Alright, I got some good ones here. Oh goodness, i grab all this. This is where Metal Blade really comes in handy, too, because we can shoot in multiple directions. I think we will, like, instantly die in that fire. Oof. Ooh. That's... Nice. Nice, some tricky jumps. Okay. Oh, wow, Dink? <laughs> he did not care. <laughs> he did not care about my Metal Blade. Okay, so we can go down this way. Hmm. We get our first little puzzle right here. Ow. <laughs> if you mess up, you get hit by this guy. So this one is pretty... is not too hard, right? So hold on. Let's do this. No. I say as I mess it up. <laughs> no. No. Ah. So slippery. There we go. Okay, step one. <laughs> the easy one. 
Okay. Cool. Let's try and get some more health back or something. Nice. Yeah, being able to shoot in all directions is, like, super useful. Cool, we got our health back, okay. Nice. Here's this. Hmm, I think it should be right over here. Yeah, here it is, okay. Alright, so you may never see this in another Let's Play. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I, I could do well. So this part isn't so bad. But then they put this fire pit over. And the fire is instant death. Right? So. Uh, but this part isn't too tricky. It's just, you know, from one to another. Just like so. But then they put a death pit just to kind of like... Worry you. And then it's after the third one. I remember this. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's the dickest thing in Mega Man 2. <laughs> that one little extra block. That's right. Yeah. It makes you fall. Oh god. Yeah, Metal Blade doesn't affect this guy. Oh, just jump in. Yeah, get our health back. <laughs> Sweet, thanks. Okay, so on to the fire boss. We are going to go ahead and equip uh, Lead Bubble. Interesting name for a power. Okay. I like how they jump from the ceiling. You actually like see them appearing in this one. He gets super salty when you hit him. But as you can see, he's incredibly weak to it. Yeah. So the boss fight is no problem at all with the right power. Yeah, there's not like a real cycle in Mega Man 2 for like boss weaknesses or whatnot. But uh, certain bosses are just a joke with the right one. Alright dudes, we're gonna end this here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.